the sh out of that. Oh, that lighting looks a lot better. Um, how's it going, guys? This is Earned Out Golf. We're trying to get down to a zero handicap by the end of 2023. As you can see from the title, um, we have a really, really special video. We have uh, Wesley Bryan, who is a PGA Tour winner, um, also part of the Bryan Bros YouTube channel, analyzing my swing. And the way this came about, he posted this on his Instagram story. As soon as I saw it, I knew I had to do it. For one, I think obviously it makes for a really cool YouTube video. Uh, number two, obviously really good for my golf game to see a pro and somebody that's been around the game his entire life take a look and kind of give me tips on what he thinks I should work on. Uh, and then number three, I'm just a massive, massive, massive like Brian Bros and Wesley Bryan fan. First go through the four videos that I sent his way. So we sent two driver swings and two iron swings down the target line and then kind of face on. And then obviously we'll go through his reaction. He sort of sent us a three minute video of what he believes I should be working on the most. And then lastly, if you stick around for the end, I'll kind of give you guys a funny story of the first time and really only time I've ever interacted with Wesley Bryan in person. So yeah, stick around for that. But anyway, so these are the four videos that I sent his way. So looking at my iron swing down the line, this is the face on iron swing. <laughs> kind of funny when I was taking that video, <laughs> I feel really bad, but the, there was a guy at the driving range and he like, he like tripped over like a bucket of balls or something. So like when he's he's laughing, he's like laughing at himself. But um, this is the driver swing down the line. And then this is the face on view of my driver. So quite honestly, I'm really happy. This is probably the best my driver. This is the best my swing has ever looked. So I'm really happy that I was at this spot when I sent these videos because <laughs> I don't know if I would have sent them like, you know, a month ago before I took my lesson, this his whole reaction probably would have been tailored around something else. But anyway, let's let's watch Wesley's video really quick. What's up, Earn Dog? I'll uh, I'll have to go check out your your little series to get the scratch. Um, shoot, hopefully, I'll be a part of it, and help you get there. Uh, so what I see is you got a, you got a pretty dang good action at it, um, and I could have drawn the lines and all that stuff on the screen, which. Uh, I just, I, right now, I feel like the thing that's most important for you to work on, like this first little phase, um, is mostly from kind of the, the belt down. So, so what I saw is, is you set up and when you take the club back, there's very, like, there's very minimal hip rotation. There's your, your legs, they don't really move that much. It's like, it's very gentle and that it's good to have a very quiet sound lower body. Um, but the, the first thing that I would work on is trying to, on the way back, just open this hip up a little bit more. And now you're on a little bit of the flatter side. Uh, when, you, when you take it back, you get in a pretty good spot here. And then you just kind of, you, you turn around your body. But what I would like to see is this hip open up a little bit more on the way back. So you, you, you feel like the hips are opening. And then you want to feel a little bit more separation between your upper body and lower body. So now it might help if you, if the, the feeling might be a little bit more width on the way back. So the, the farther your hands get away from you, the more your body's gonna have to turn to try and get it out there. So um, I'd start by feeling a little bit more width on the way back. Really feel this hip turning back this way. And then the, the second part about the lower body that I saw is it, it doesn't really turn on the way back. And then when, as you're going down through, it's like, it, it just kind of ever so gently is creeping in and this way. So for the back swing, you're going to want to feel the, this hip going back, but then on the through swing, you're going to want to feel your left hip, uh, pulling, pulling back towards this back wall here. So you, you might need to, to do like a few exaggerated or exaggerated kind of stop drills where you really feel that lower body turning. Oh, sorry, drinking a seltzer water. Got a little burps going. Um, where you, you feel it stop in there, and then from here, you want to, to, you still want to fire the hips, but you don't want it to go this way. So try and stay down into the ball, make, maybe make your first, uh, think about the first move with your head, um, and your body is kind of loading into the ground a little bit. So then when you 
go here, then you, you really feel this left hip pulling that way. It should help you stay in your posture a little bit easier on the through swing. Um, but all in all, like I said, a very good action. I just right now would primarily start with uh, keeping the lower body um, the main point of emphasis when you go to the range. So that was it guys. That was the analysis by Wesley. This is my living room where I move around furniture so that I can swing a golf club around and my girlfriend hates it, but she doesn't live here. So um, she doesn't get much say. Let's kind of review the things that you said. So I think I've known this for a while. Um, this is something that's kind of very, almost every one of the instructors that I've taken lessons with have, have told me this is my lower body is really quiet. So I'm not opening up my hips very much in my backswing. So yeah, so our lower body is responsible for generating most of the power in our golf swing. So if we're not rotating that right hip as much as we need to, um, what that's going to result is we're not going to generate as much club head speed as we're really capable of doing. Obviously, I struggle a lot with my distance, and that's a big part of it. So really, we're going to have to work on my lower body getting so engaged and my right hip opening up so much that I'm kind of in this position at, at the at the top of my backswing so this feels really freaking weird to me i probably only rotate maybe like 45 degrees where i really should be closer to like i don't know 65 70. also one thing that he that he mentioned was to really help you open up your hips it's good to create width in your backswing so by extending your hands or extending your arms to get as far from your body as possible your body's automatically going to try to open up those hips for you. So that's the first thing. Now, the second thing is when I'm coming down, it's also I'm shifting. So I'm, I'm, sh I'm kind of loading onto my left side, which is good, but we're not pulling our hip back. We're sort of shifting forward and then pulling back. And what that's doing, if I'm shifting my whole body forward and we're not keeping, if you can imagine like a wall on my butt, not keeping my butt on that wall, but rather moving it forward what that's going to make me do is to compensate for it we have to make sure that our hands stay really really close to our body otherwise right i'm just going to be hitting a lot of really healy shots or like even potentially the hosel which if you've seen my videos my miss is a short right spinny cut which is which comes from hitting hitting the heel of your club so pretty much that's it guys i guess i'll catch you back on my desk where i'll tell you the funny story of the time that i interacted with uh with wesley bryan on a golf course so if you stuck around this long, I'm going to tell you guys kind of the story of when I actually interacted with Wesley at a PGA Tour event. So this was here in Dallas. It was the Byron Nelson. I think it was May of this year. So once he Monday qualified, he actually played a pretty good first two rounds, made the cut, and I went on Saturday. So I got to see him. I was with my girlfriend. I kind of noticed that Wesley was going to be coming up to this, the holes that we were kind of hovering around. So I went over, I think it was number seven, it was a par three, and I didn't see his tee shot. Uh, and I didn't see, I can't remember who he was playing with, but I didn't see either of their tee shots. And I kind of like walk up and I'm sort of between the tee box and the green. Um, and he starts walking down. And of course, I'm like fangirling at this point. So I, I kind of like yell out, like oh like go get him Wesley like rooting for you or something like that right and he kind of like looked at me and just like gave me a little wink and just kind of waved and it was like it was really nice like that was so cool like obviously like I'm a huge fan I'm there to support him and like it was really nice to see that little did I know that he had just hit like a terrible tee shot I think he like overdrew it pin was kind of tucked left and I guess he went for it and sort of overdrew it and was short-sighted behind a bunker and then he proceeds to like hit it in the bunker uh, and then ends up getting up and down for bogey. And like, I think earlier in that round, he like had tripled. So he just wasn't playing good golf that day. I, I followed him around for another couple holes and I felt like every shot that I watched, like it was just not going his way. And I thought it was like, I was giving him bad luck. So I stopped, I, I stopped following him to make, to make sure that he, that he played all right. I think he ended up shooting like four under in the back. Um, would, I think he still shot like one over for the day or something like that. I don't know. If I was in that moment, I probably would be really frustrated. Like I probably wouldn't have like looked up and waved or whatever. But he kind of like was able to take a step back and say like, man, this kid is here to support me. Like, you know, like, yeah, I'm playing bad golf. But like, at least I have fans that, you know, that care for me and, 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 are, and are here here to support me. So uh, anyway, I thought that was really, really cool. Um, obviously, I'm a huge, huge Brian Bros fan. Probably my favorite YouTube channel. Uh, so this video was an entire treat for me, um, something that I'm always going to remember for the rest of my life and very grateful for it. And 
very grateful for the ability to be able to do stuff like this. So, um, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please click on that like button. If you want to follow along the journey, uh, click on subscribe. To be quite honest with you guys, I am struggling right now. My golf game is not where I want it to be. Um, and I'm not posting very good scores uh, as of late. So I could really use your support if you could just comment below and just kind of give me some some heartwarming messages um, to keep grinding and, and keep doing what I'm doing. Anyway, um, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thank you so much for watching again and uh, have a good one. Enjoy the holidays. Bye-bye.